What is poppin' everybody? This is Count Viar. We are back with another guest narration for Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. We're jumping into it. Okay, so Kush let off with uh, with Hedaliscus, right? Lex let off with his wheezing. Switch into Tartara on the Hyper Voice. This is Kush versus Lex for Snake Phase 2. Goes to Dredagon on the Synthesis. Um, probably gonna go for rocks to both of them here, but there is a. I mean, it's it's Mold Break Dredagon, so I'm assuming it's gonna go for, for rocks. Yes. Lex gets an Earthquake off, Drodigan does not have any recovery, so that's uh, that's going to stay there. Goes to Sylvanas Steel on the Toxic, um, has Ice Beam for Drodigan, uh, Drodigan has Fire Punch for the Sylvanas Steel. I'm assuming Lex is going to Defog here, because Fire Punch doesn't kill it anyway, yes. Into the Pessimian, Pessimian could go for a close combat, but there is a Weezing, so I wouldn't be surprised if it U-turns here, U-turn is a fairly safe play. He does go for the U-turn on the Pessimian, can go to his Slowbro now, or his Drodigan again, whichever he prefers. Um, maybe if, if he's Scarf Helisk, but I'm assuming it's Scarf Pessimian, so... Let's go out to Slowbro. Uh, Scald is fairly, fairly safe, actually. There's, like, no drawback at all in clicking Scald. <laughs> Lax has no water resist. <laughs> and he has an Ice Beam Silvati Steel. Which, I mean, it helps him out with a few matchups, I guess, but... It's, it's interesting, to say the least. Um... Now, Lax could still be the... Uh... The bulk upset? But I don't think he is... He could be. Depending on what his uh, what his Delphox is, actually. If his Delphox is Scarf, this could be the bulk up variant with uh, Z Bug Buzz. But either way, staying in to take a Scald right now would be yeah, would be idiotic because he could be burnt. So Lax goes for the U-turn onto the slow row, gets some chip off, but that's cool, gonna be regen anyway. As I'm assuming Kush just clicks Scald, he has no reason not to. Yep. Goes for the Scald into Zato, does he get the burn? He does not, but it's still 44%, which is really good damage. Especially one, uh, because once Zato is gone, his Pharisee is going to put in a lot more work. Goes for the Roost on the Helisk. Um, Helisk is probably going to go for Hyper Voice again. Actually shows HP Ice! Wow, that's that's one hell of a tech. Uh, which means that this thing will go down to Hyper Voice next time. Uh, I'm assuming Kush is going to click HP Ice again. He could switch out here. Uh, predicting here Lex to go out into Delphox or into the uh, Silvali because even if Lex clicks Synthesis here, um, he's going to be in range of two Hyper Voices anyway, assuming this is Specs damage. Um, so that's a really cool tech on Kush's part, and it uh, definitely worked out. We have seen a lot of Torteras in Snake, so that makes sense. We have seen a lot of Zatus, a lot of Pessimians, and a lot of Torteras. That's uh, something uh, I've noticed. I mean, obviously a lot of Slowbros and Pessimians, and in well, actually not as many Incidors. I was going to say because they're S-ranks, but yeah. Um, if I'm Kush, I probably switch out here. He actually kicks HP Ice again. That does so much because Weezing's Fist Death is great, but his special defense is uh, pretty booty. Um, that's actually really interesting, Weezing. I wonder if it's offensive because it did more than I thought it would. That's a non stab move. I know it's like 60 base power specs, but still. Gets a T Spikes up on Cryogonal. Cryogonal can defog or spin these away, whichever Kushalos is carrying. And Weezing can't really touch Cryogonal, so it does spin him away, gets 3% off on Pessimian. Awesome. Can't just go back into Slowbro, as far as I can see. There's really nothing wrong with that. He could go into Drodagon if he really likes to, but Drodagon will be chipped at that point. Uh, yeah, I don't ever see him staying in here. I'm assuming Lex is going to go for U-turn. Yeah. Makes sense. Into... Zatu or Weezing or Delphox are all legit options. I don't think he wants Delphox to take damage just yet because uh, Delphox's matchup is pretty okay. Especially like Calm Mind Grassy, uh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of Delphox it is yet. Anyway, he uters out into. I think it's gonna be Zatu. But he could go into Weezing if he wants to. Weezing is gonna get chipped by U turn though. While Zatu just gets the Rocky Helmet off. Hmm. I really wonder what, Kusha, what what Lex is gonna do here. I would probably go out into Zato myself and click Nightshade. Uh, although Nightshade invites in Helix, so maybe you click U-turn. But then if Basimian knocks off from Kushalos, uh, you're in somewhat of a meh position. So he does go out into Weezing. I wonder if this is a uh, pain split Weezing. He has shown Toxic Spike so far, and uh, no Leftovers or Black Sludge. Uh, and I don't think it showed Rocky Helmet either. Uh, I'm not sure if it was revealed. I think it only took the HBI, so we don't know if it's Rocky Helmet. It could still be. Uh, but I doubt it with Zato on his team. It could still be Z. Uh, it could be a Berry. I don't think it would be Payapa Berry on this team. And I, I think that's Weezing's only weakness. So 
It could be Aya Papa Berry still. U-turns, does not take helmet. So maybe it is Z-Weezing. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. It's back. Don't worry about it. Nobody saw it. <laughs> it does click Sludge Bomb on the Queragonal, does not get the poison. Um... 25% is okay, but it's left over Squirrel so it's going to be gone. Clicks Freeze Try onto the Pissimian, does not get a freeze, but it's still really good permanent damage. Unless he has Wish Report from the from the Delphox, I think that's going to be permanent. I don't know if it is w Wish Delphox. He does have a Silvali Steel for Vanillax anyway. So, I would be kind of surprised if it was, but it could still be. Huh. Tough. Because Silvali Steel and uh, Spadev Delphox have mostly the same checks, so... Oh, I mean, they check the same things. Like vanilla, it's like comfy, that kind of stuff. Hmm. Kush could just go back into Slowbro. He doesn't really lose much. Um, even if Lax clicks U-turn, what's he going to U-turn out into? That's threatening Kush's team. He actually goes to Drodekan, hoping to catch the U-turn Rocky Helmet. Yep, exactly. Get some nice chip off on this Basimian. Um He can't switch in on the next freeze try anymore. He will die. So I, I definitely want to set a play. Goes into Savali Steel. He could click Ice Beam here. I would could see him party shotting or U training as well. Um, Ice Beam doesn't lose you much, but you don't switch into Slowbro very well. So yeah. <laughs> like if you Ice Beam here and Kush does go out into Slowbro, you don't actually gain much. Ice Beam on the Ferris Seed. Ferris Seed does not get frozen. Um, I think Kush is going to double here, predicting the Zatu. I really do. All we've seen from this thing is Ice Beam and Defog. It's assumably it's U-turn or Parting Shot and maybe Toxic. I don't think it's going to be Flamethrower, especially if you have a Weezing, uh, a Zatu, and a uh, Delphox. Doesn't make sense. He is Parting Shot over U-turn. Apparently, he did not fear any Zatus. Gets in his own Zatu on the Leech Sheet. I mean, Leech Sheet gets bounced anyway, but you're immune to it, so it's okay. But yeah, that's why I didn't think he would stay in. On the other hand, uh, on the party slash shot slash U turn, you would be uh, gets off a jar ball for zero percent. <laughs> I don't. I guess he was just scouting what Zatu w w wanted to go for, and his Pharisee is kind of useless as long as Zatu is there. But like, it literally did two percent more to Zatu than it did to him, and he has no recovery while Zatu has just roost with Rocky Helmet. So yeah. Now he goes to Dreadicon, probably on, a to on another Toxic. Actually, U turns. Yeah, that's fair. I would have myself probably clicked Toxic again. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> I would have myself probably clicked Toxic again because um, him staying in with the uh, with the Pharisee didn't actually gain him anything. So you you catch anything. Gets in his uh, ooh, Silvali Steel once again onto the Drodagon. He's probably going to click Ice Beam again, but uh, if he is Toxic... Yeah, exactly. You go Bro. Yeah, he still doesn't switch into Scald very well. Uh, well, now he has to click Scald, but he was going to anyway, to be honest. Uh, and now Lax actually cannot Toxic if he did have it, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, yeah, gets the Parting Shop off, so it's not going to be as strong as the Scald. It's going to go to Zatu again. Thaws out because of the Scald. Does still 27%. Still no burn. Bit fortunate for Lax, but whatever. Gets a U-turn on the Hitalisk, which is very crucial. He keeps the Zatu low, but he does get the momentum. He can click U-turn again here. Uh, Kush could go into Dredagon exactly. Sacking it off, getting the Rocky Helmet off onto this Pissimian. Now all he needs is a little bit of more chip on the Pissimian and it dies. Gets in a Delphox. This is tricky. He can't really go into Slowbro because if it is Grass CMZ, then it dies. Goes to Pissimian because he figures um, opposing the Simian is Scarf. So this Delphox will not be. I wonder if he's going to click Knockoff because it's a fairly safe play. Or U-Turn. It is Protect. It scouts. Goes for the U-turn, and now Lax knows. So he can actually throw off a move, a fire move, presumably. Or a Calm Mind if he does have it. But I think if he's protected, he is a Pedef set with leftovers. Misses Toxic on a Koryongonal. Very unfortunate. Um, Kushala has realized that if it's protected, it's going to be the Pedef variant. And uh, Flametower will not kill Koryongonal because of Koryongonal's insane special bulk. Um, but that Toxic miss was nonetheless very... Very bad for Kush. Uh, I'm assuming he has Rapid Spin over Defog for the PP too, in case uh, he faced Stall. Because a lot of them actually carry uh, Defog these days because it's more reliable, you don't get chipped by Rocky Helmet, etc, etc. Uh, it's not walled by Ghosts. Um, although, to be honest, the Ghosts in this tier pretty much all lose to Cryogonal anyway. 
<laughs> because of uh, freeze dry hitting all of them besides Ms. Mag. Basically all of them. Um, I could see Laxay and try to toxic again. Uh, but if Kush with Cryogonal goes for toxic of his own, then this uh, presumably especially defensive Delphox is going to get toxic, which is going to wear it down very harshly. He tried to, I'm assuming Lex tried to catch the slower there with the Toxic. And, you know, wear it down with either, you know, Substitute or just Protect. Something like that. And if I'm Kush, I'd probably go for my own Toxic here. The problem is that Lex actually can go out into his own Savali Steel and click Party Shot again. Hmm. But if you click Party Shot, you have nothing to go into. <laughs> And I don't think you go hard Persimmon because it will die to a freeze dry. So Lex could just stay in here and go for another Toxic. I wouldn't be too surprised. Sure, his own Delphox will get Toxic, and that is unfortunate. But at the same time, I think this is his best check to the Cryogonal. Would it be too surprised if Kush goes into Ferrisite on a Toxic? But at the same time, it doesn't gain him anything. Goes to Savali Steel on a Toxic. Like I said, and now what? Now he clicks Party Shot again? Gets freeze right upon. Shows party shot. Yeah, but what's he gonna go into? Pasimian? Okay, okay. That's fair. Kush goes out of the slowbro again, I'm assuming, on the U-turn from Lex, I'm assuming. Because Kush can't really sack this. This thing puts in way too much work. Goes to Ferrisite. Ah to get the iron buffs off. Only one more, and this thing is indeed dead. Goes to the Delphox, threatens out with a fire type move. Um this mon is hard to deal with for Kush. Gets it to Slowbro. It is Substitute Delphox, so he's going to go for a very safe Toxic now. As his Slowbro is probably going to Scald. I'm, a, I'm wondering what it is Delphox is going to be Sub-Protect Toxic? Sub-Protect Toxic with Flamethrower? It is! Wow, that is really bad for Kushalos. Gets that thing like 6 0s him. Goes for the Toxic onto the Slowbro. So he's going to go for Scald to break the Substitute. And Lax could go for another Substitute or a Protect to stall this Slowbro out. I wouldn't be surprised to see a substitute. But then again, that might die to Hyper Voice. So Protect is probably the safer play. Yeah. Goes for the future side on a Protect. I like that. Um, is it AV, bro? Get Scalded. Future side won't do too much, so he could just Protect if he wants to. The Slowbro will get chipped by the Toxic. Uh, but the future side is still going to hurt a bit. Yep. Protect. Fails. Takes the future side. It only did 19, so that's okay. He gets leftovers anyway. Can protect the scout. What does Helios locks himself into? But his Delphox is getting worn down. On the other hand, he's already toxic to Slowbro. And uh, the Slowbro is actually down a good amount of health right now. Of course, he did get regen. But he didn't get everything back. So getting that Slowbro toxic is really good for Spasimian as well. If he clicks U-turn, uh, then the toxic plus the U-turn damage do more than regen. <laughs> so Slowbro will not... Uh, gain HP that way anyway. Helisk is tough because he has shown HP ice. I feel like Hyper Voice is no drawback at this point. I uh, don't know if it 2 it KOs the Steel Valley, but that's his only real switch in anyway. And it has no recovery. And this isn't Wish Delphox, so I think Hyper Voicing here should be fine. Yeah, this, this Helisk is. Gonna put in a lot of work for his legs. It's tough to deal with. His only way to deal with it really is Pessimian. But if Pessimian takes any more uh, Iron Parp damage, then it's literally dead. And Lax has not shown any wish support from any of his mons to get the, uh, the Pessimian back. So. Hmm. Doubles to Pessimian on the. Why? Did he not kill with Specs Hyper Voice from 59? I don't fully understand the double there. The knockoff makes sense at least, but I don't fully understand the double there. I feel like Hyper Voice should have killed from that mage, but I didn't know the bulk, I guess. It is actually Z Weezing. If you see T Spikes, Slash Bomb, is it gonna be Poisonium Z? Is it gonna be Fire MZ? Goes for the Slash Bomb onto the Cryogonal, still doesn't get the poison. And Cryogonal can just throw off another Freeze Try or a Toxic. He does go for Freeze Try. The reason I said Toxic is predicting the Delphox, and that would have been really, really, really bad for uh, Lax. 
Uh, now Kush could just throw off another freeze try, but that gives the uh, the Delphox another free switch in. So I don't think he will. Uh, what he could do is go hard into Passimian. Slow bro. Passimian, yeah, I like Passimian the best. That doesn't give uh, Delphox a free switch in. That doesn't really give anything a free switch in. Zatu is not really a problem. And he does chip away at Steel Valley this way, which is good. I'm still confused about uh, Lax actually. Uh, sorry, Kushalo's not hyper voicing there. I'm assuming it didn't kill then? How bulky is the Delphox? <laughs> hmm. Goes to the Weezing. Um, Kush does get a free U turn, which is some chip. I'm. He's gonna go to the, the ice cream again, right? No, he goes Heedalisk. Why? I don't like that play at all. Why would you do that? Why would you let Heedalisk get chipped? Your ice cream took this on so well. And he has no freeze dry switching slash toxic switchings. Mm, I don't like that. I understand that Hyperface gets a kill now, but the, the Spadef on Heedalisk is actually quite good, so you take most special hits. It does sack Zatu on the Hyperface, which does free up Ferris Heat quite a bit. Um... But I think you need the Iron Barbs on, on the Ferris Heat for the Pissimian in order to win with Heatalisk, basically. Because Hyper Voice from Heatalisk almost sweeps. All you need to do is get some chip off on the Pissimian. But now that Delphox has gained some health because uh, Kush did switch out, which gave uh, Lax two turns of leftovers, if I remember correctly. Um, I'm assuming it is going to live at this amount of HP, especially because he can protect again. And if he switches, he can protect again, gain another 12%. On his uh, Delphox. Mm -hmm. 12 and a half even. To be exact. Um, now what's Kush going to do? Uh, none of his plays seem good. <laughs> to be honest. I don't like any of his plays. He could go for Simeon. But the Flame Terror or uh, Mystical Fire is going to hurt him. I'm assuming he's going to be Flame Terror or Mystical Fire. Now he hyped with Now he doesn't kill. And he loses his Heedalisk, which in my opinion was his way of winning this game. Now to be fair, looking at that Hypervoice damage, I do not think he killed at the amount of HP uh, Delphox was at earlier. Mm -hmm. I do not think it killed. Uh, but to be fair, he could have also just full Twitch there. Obviously, he didn't want the, this thing, the Torterra to gain uh, health back. But my question is, was was Lax ever going to risk his only ground immunity? Because I don't think he would. But he might have. It wasn't really a 50-50 either, because you could... You know, you could switch out with Healers then on the Torterra and, you know, try it, a, try it another time next time. Goes to Slow Row on the Fire Blast from this Weezing. So we know it's Fire Blast, Sludge Bomb and Toxic Spikes with a Z. Um, I wonder what his last move is. Pain Split? Uh, Thunderbolt goes for the Z. Is it Z Thunderbolt? The Gigavolt Havoc. It straight knocks out the Slowbo. That is huge, huge, huge for Lax, which is an insanely cool tech, by the way. Um, and the Slowbo, the Slowbo was extremely important for Kush. Wow, that turned the whole game around. Um, I think it was pretty even before, but now it's in Lax's favor, I would say. Um, wow. Now, Knockoff does almost sweep from Pissimian, but opposing Pissimian still exists. Um, this thing, I mean, you're going to have to freeze dry, and then the Steel Valley comes in again. He doesn't really need Steel Valley anymore, so he could just go into that if he wanted to. Don't know what set it is. We still don't know his last move anyway. It's um, it's Ice Beam, Defog, Parting Shot, and one more move. Hmm. I think you always click freeze dry here. I mean, you could double into Pissimian, but I don't know if that's going to do anything. Not much, anyway. Getting up rocks with Ferris would be nice, but he really doesn't get up rocks versus anything besides Silvali. So do you double right now on the Silvali? No, he freeze tried. I wondered if, I wonder if rocks there would have actually helped him. It might have. Goes to Pissimian on the parting shots. Makes sense. He couldn't give a free switch into the likes of Delphox. He really can't. But Lax can go Delphox right now and click Protect, gets 12.5% more, more on his Delphox. 
goes to Weezing, which makes sense because you could just click uh, Fire Blast for free, basically. Could click Sludge Bomb as well, because he has Fire Blast for the Pharisee anyway. Sludge Bomb is actually a safer play because you get to poison the Cryogonal with a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. So we know his entire moveset now. It's Electrodot move, whether it's Thunder or Thunderbolt, Fire Blast, Sludge Bomb, and Toxic Spike. He could also just try to get up his Toxic Spike, um, because that, may, that means that the Cryogonal does have to spin, and you get to go into your Delphox. Um, but then again, I don't know if you want your Delphox to get toxic. But at this point, I think that's actually a, f a fine trade for Lax. Uh, to toxic his Delphox versus a toxic Cryogonal. Although Cryogonal does have recovery and Delphox doesn't. Hmm, that's tough. Also, look at Passimian versus Kushalos. Um, it does get a kill. But if it touches Ferrisheed, it will die itself. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> if it touches uh, Ferrisheed, it will die itself. So it could always double from Passimian out into the likes of a Delphox. Uh, predicting the Ferrisee and then going for a free fire type move whether it's flamethrower or mystical fire uh, the reason I mentioned the mystical fire by the way is because uh, Spadef Delphox actually runs mystical fire sometimes to get special attack drops on uh, you know opposing special attackers um, for some of you that don't know mystical fire used to be I think it's uh, it's signature move of Delphox 70 base power fire type move with 100% uh, chance to drop special attack I think uh, a few other mounts get it now? I know Miss Maggie's does. Don't know how many other mounts do get it. It goes for the U-turn into the Cryogonal. Makes sense. As he gets up the T-Spike, also makes sense. Cryogonal's probably going to have to spin at this point. And Lax is going to do what? Lax is going to do what? Go Delphox or Steel Valley? That's what I think. He does go Delphox. Get some nice recovery. No, he gets Toxic on the Switch. That's pretty crucial, but the T-Spike is up at this very moment. Hmm. Now, I think Kushalos' win condition is Scarf Close Combat. I don't know if Weezing dies from 20. He goes for the Rapid Spin, he stays in on the Flamethrower, it does 79%. And I think he should freeze right here to kill this off. He clicks Recover, but it, it did 79 last time, and it's going to die. He clicked Recover for no actual reason, and this Delphox is actually still alive. Oh my god, that was not a play. That was not a play. You either kill it, or you switch. <laughs> uh, well, with killing it, I mean, Freeze Dry wouldn't have killed this Delphox, but it would have put it in range of the Toxic, which means it would have died afterwards. Um, recover was no play. It did 79 last time. Why would it do... 76 this time. That makes no sense. He should have calc that in my opinion. I'm gonna skip this song by the way. It's better. Um, so you have to go Pissimia now. My question is what move do you lock yourself into? He clicks protect on knockoff. I don't know if knockoff kills Weezing. I think clicking close combat there was the play, but... Because Passimian is at like 12% right now, it will die to close combat. Weezing is at 20, I think? So you get yourself a 50% chance to win... Actually, I'm gonna calc this. I know you guys are not gonna be able to see it, but I'm gonna calc it for you guys. We're calcing Scarf Passimian versus a Weezing. And it's not gonna be fully fist death. It's not. So that means close combat will in fact kill it. So he has a 50% chance to win this game if he locks himself into close combat. But he didn't. He, no he locked himself into knockoff and I don't know if I like that. I understand why he kept the Pharisee because he wants to... Uh... I mean, he could always still lock himself into close combat, I guess. Uh, but I understand why he kept the Pharisee. He wants to keep that for the Passimian. But I still think he should have close combated because... Okay, so let me explain. If he clicks close combat, then Lax has to go into his own Passimian and has to win two 50-50s, basically. Because he either wins his speed tie... Okay, so he wins his speed tie, he wins the game. If he loses his speed tie, he loses the game. If he goes for close combat while Kush goes out into Ferrocede, he dies and loses the game to Scarf Close Combat. If he switches while Kushalos stays in with Passimian, click close combat, then it becomes the exact same game again. So it is the 50-50 between 
First of all, Spita, and second of all, does Kushalos double into Ferrisine on that moment? But I think that Kushalos' play always was the clip close combat there. Always, always. Because this cannot possibly be fist death wheezing. And to a max HP wheezing, you do 21... Per no, sorry, that's even bold. Let's just say timid for... just for the hell of it. But to bold, it would do 21 min. To timid with max HP, it would do 24 min. The current amount of HP those wheezing was at, I believe, was 20%. Which I don't even know if knockoff kills it. I don't think it does because it doesn't have an item. Even to max HP, it does 17, 17 to 20. That's itemless wheezing. I don't know if that's the play. Also, Pessimian, uh, sorry, Steel Valley is gonna live this maybe because it doesn't have an item technically because of its, uh, you know, it's 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 so Valley basically. <laughs> it's basically RCs. You can't knock it off. Um, so I don't think knockoff was ever the play there. I think it was always close combat. Whatever the outcome, it was a good game. It, re it really is a good game. It's really close. Um, it's been the most exciting game I've had so far. Uh, hello, Finch? What the fuck? Um, but yeah, I, th I think Close Combat was the play there. Finch was muted. <laughs> Knockoff versus 196 HP wheezing. 18 to 21. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Lex could be lying about his spread, obviously. I don't know if he is, but he goes for the knockoff on the wheezing. He stays in, gets sludge bombed. 56% does not get poisoned. So now you knock again. Yeah, you kill it off. Silvali so Steel. This is going to live and it will kill Pessimian, presumably. I don't know if Ice Beam kills it, but. Do you go into. Fer he does go Ferro Seed on the Ice Beam. 13%. Does he have anything to touch Ferro Seed with? Does he does he have ice beam flame tower? Does he have ice beam flame tower? If he does, it's gonna come down to a 50-50. If he doesn't, and I think Kush wins. Does he have the flame tower? Wow, this is close as hell. He does have the flame tower. The Pharisee goes down, and it's gonna come down to a 50-50 between Pessimians. Oh my god. It's just gonna come down to a speed tie. Ah. I, I don't like the way Kushalos played the end game. Um, I mean, it was a 50 50 in the end anyway, but uh, he had a better chance of winning if he locked himself to close combat because he did have the Ferrisite still and close combat beat everything. Who's going to win this? It's literally just a 50 50, a speed tie. Playing to every god out there. Oh, wow. Such a bad ending to such a good game. Did I choke? Yeah, I think I think you had the close combat there, dude. Didn't CC win? Uh. All right, let's see it. Who wins this game? Who is gonna win the speed tie? Which monkey has? Who has trained the best monkey? Kush or Lax? Who is it gonna be? Click it, Jesus! <laughs> I choked on dicks. Yeah, I think the close combat was the play, dude. I don't know why he knocked. Repent. He does lose his feet tie. Kushalos actually ends up losing the game to a 2% Pessimian. Wow. GG still lacks and Kushalos. A really exciting and good game. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Dockery to subscribe to me. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to leave one. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Alright. See you next time.